This is the church planter point for week four of our class. Um, we're specifically dealing with um, Jesus this week. So we're working within the realm of Christology and what Jesus has to do with uh, evangelism. Uh, I want to note a couple of things here. Uh, the first is something uh, theologically that I hear a lot of church planters, um, I think, get wrong, is a way to say it. And that's um, missing the reality of the ascension of Jesus. Um, remember that Jesus um, ascended. Uh, Jesus, in case you didn't know, is no longer here. Uh, Jesus is gone. Jesus ascended. Um, so prayers that I often hear around, um, uh, well, let's say it this way. I hear lots of quote-unquote passionate prayers that use language like, Oh Lord Jesus, just just come, just just come, Lord Jesus. Just we, oh Lord Jesus, we just we just know that you're with us. Um, prayers like this um, have some great strengths behind them, but also have a weakness, namely that Jesus ascended and Jesus isn't here. Now there's a weakness to this, as we remember Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, but that needs to be properly held in tension with reality. Again, that Jesus ascended. So what's left, um, namely, uh, uh, the, the Holy Spirit is now with us. And uh, I would argue the proper theological framework here would be that the body of Christ, the church, is with us. So all those thoughts in mind, which I'd love to talk to you about over email or phone or whatever, um, is... Um, dealing with, working with, being in friendship with um, people around us and the invites that we give them. <clears throat> Let me unpack this a minute. Uh, from my experience in doing evangelism um, in multiple locations in my life, um, often tends um, to result in an invite and especially the initial invite. Once friendship, mutual friendship, uh, reciprocal friendship has been attained, um, what do we invite people into? Uh, and the place where I feel like I've fallen short a lot is inviting people um, to go to church. That's like my fallback. Uh, get to know someone and then invite them to church. And interestingly enough, I've been learning that this actually isn't quite as effective as um, firstly inviting people uh, to experience God, to experience God the Father, to experience the Holy Spirit that is with us, and to experience Christ, more specifically, the body of Christ. So in this shift I've made in my life, I've found it much more effective to invite people to encounter um, God, Trinitarian God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, through those three frames that I just said. I've come across so many people that I've invited to come to our church. Uh, I love our church. I'm totally biased, but I think our church is really great. And I um, mistakenly oftentimes think the people are just going to want to come to a worship service and to participate uh, in the worship of the church. <clears throat> Most people, from my experience, have said that they will indeed come in conversations. They will look each other in the face and, and they'll be excited to come to worship service. But nine times out of ten, that actually doesn't happen. And I think that's because participating in the church is oftentimes something that happens down the road once someone has encountered God. So I've been switching to inviting people to encounter God. Uh, a practical story, a neighbor, a close friend that I've been working with for a long time, um, has not accepted invites to come to the church worship service. Uh, he and his family say they will, but they don't participate in the worship service. So instead, I've been inviting this friend who's actually in a really tough time right now 
um, to pray and see what happens when he prays. Uh, he said he doesn't know how to pray, and uh, I meet him there and say, well, actually, here are words that Jesus invites us to pray when we pray. So I show him the Lord's Prayer in either Matthew or Luke and say, okay, so here's what you do. Just steady your mind for a moment and say these prayers. Maybe even leave space in between the words of the prayer to listen <coughs> and to encounter God. Uh, we're in the middle of this right now. Uh, I've invited him to pray. I invited him to pray a couple weeks ago. I asked him last week if he prayed, and he said no, he hadn't yet, but he was looking forward to praying, and I look forward to asking him again soon uh, if he's prayed. So, all that said, encountering Jesus, yes, the message of Jesus, the message of grace and forgiveness and mercy and subversion and justice and all these things that we all love about our story, um, the message is there, and we can tell those stories. But the practical reality is that Jesus has ascended. Jesus is not here. The Holy Spirit is with us, and the body of Christ remains through the church. So how do we invite people to encounter those things and then to invite them to come into our churches? It's not an equation. It doesn't work um, every single time, quote-unquote, work. Um, but it is uh, a theological reality that I think we ought to practice a bit more often. So there you go, Church Planter Point, week four. I hope you enjoy. I hope this one's a little controversial. We'll stir up some conversation. Talk soon.